Okay, Andrea, I will explain here the different parts of the actuator. We have here the USB to the master controller of the canvas. We have here the canvas cable go to the LRU, that is the unit that controls a rear deposition of the motor and controls the position of the shaft. Also we have here a small board that is the power supply to the motor, the power uh, controller to the motor. The power supply is integrated here, is a mini ETX format and I bring this to you uh, because it's more easy to integrate all the things uh, together. Okay, we have here a small uh, switch button that is for powering all the system and we have here the end to detect the top of the uh, shaft. If I get out the shaft, for example, if I close the, the power uh, and close the computer, every time I start up the system, like now, I get the shaft to the top position and stop. This is the zero position. <coughs> we manage to make the shaft moving from zero knots to, uh, sorry, from zero kilometers per hour to 2,250 uh, kilometers. Okay. Now I will go to open the computer, the workspace. In this case, for make the test, we can select Condor. But you can uh, use this unit with any kind of simulation supported by the workspace you know. Okay, we start a mission in the air and begin the shaft in the first position. The shaft is distributed in five uh, top positions uh, from 0 to 50, from 50 to 100, to 100, to 150, to 150, 200, 200, and 250. This is five uh, different positions of the shaft. I think it's a uh, very useful and enough for the use of the project that is based on make the shaft pressure into the force feedback uh, joystick at different uh, speeds. Okay, I started the mission ready for flight I'm getting now getting from 100 get out going down 150 200 and 250 and now go to make up getting okay getting loop Go to zero, skip, and go to the top. 50, 100, 150, 200 now, and 250. Okay, I pause the simulator now, and I see here it's a movement. I think it's about uh, approximately about 10, uh, 20 centimeters maybe. I will go to check here how is the margin. We need to adjust, uh, uh, it's possible to adjust mechanically uh, anything. Okay. I will go to exit workspace. When I exit workspace in the computer, the shaft go to zero position again. I go to check only. Okay, from zero here in the rule, I place the zero here and exit workspace. And I see it's about uh, six centimeters, 60 millimeters. Okay, that's uh, all, Andrea, at the moment. We can adjust uh, this scale in the first part of the project. I make the shaft uh, getting out and in uh, for each kilometer, but I think it's not sensitive. It's more sensitive to get this uh, fractioned in different uh, range of uh, speed, area speed on this case. 
Okay, the good thing here, you see in the LRU controller, who is based the the canvas, uh, you can get this terminator out, and it's possible to place here another cable, go to next DC chaining uh, indicator, for example, altimeter, I speed, heading, a uh, vertical speed, place again the terminator in the last gouge and you can get with the same controller and only one USB connection you get a complete uh, system included the actuator for the uh, in this case for the force feedback okay see you Andrea